Buongiorno a tutti! Today we will prepare another classic from the Italian cuisine, cannelloni filled with ricotta and spinach. For this recipe we will need one of the basic sauces, bechamel. Let's do it! For the bechamel sauce we will need 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of flour, 1 liter of milk, nutmeg and bay leaves. Warm up milk and bay leaves. Season it with salt and black pepper. In the same time, gently melt the butter in a pot. Add the flour and mix the two together until no lumps will remain. This mix is called roublau. Then add the warm milk into the roux blanc, bit by bit, until no milk remains. Like this, no lumps will form and the sauce will be smooth. Remove the bay leaves, adjust the flavor with salt, black pepper and ground nutmeg. Mix with a wooden spoon, scrub the bottom of the pot, until the sauce starts gently boiling. Once it is thick, it's ready to use. Let's prepare our filling. In a pot, place 500 grams of frozen spinach and a bit of water. Cover and cook until all liquids evaporate. If you use fresh spinach, water is not necessary. Start with a spoon of olive oil and add some spinach. It will shrink in volume. Continue adding until all will fit in the pan. When it's dry enough, add it into 500 grams of ricotta cheese. Add also 20 grams of parmesan. And season it with black pepper, nutmeg and salt. Mix all together and your filling is done. A fast cooking tip. To fill up the cannelloni you can use a ziplock bag. Cut a small corner and squeeze the filling inside the pasta. Once they are filled, it's time to place them in a tray. Start with a layer of bechamel, then cannelloni, and cover them with another layer of sauce. Sprinkle the last layer with 50 grams of mozzarella and 50 grams of parmesan. If you want an extra crispy texture, sprinkle a bit of breadcrumbs, which will also give a nice golden color. Bake at 180 degrees for 30 minutes. To check if the pasta is ready, poke it with a fork. If it's soft, it's ready to plate. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.